Hey everybody, this is William from the Godzilla Files coming at you today with a new book review. And today we're going to be looking at the newly released Famous Monsters Archives Godzilla. So this is based off the Famous Monsters of Movie Land magazines and they kind of compiled all their Godzilla articles into one place. But before we jump into this review fully, I just want to say you can get this now pretty much anywhere or you can order it online. It's about $17 to $20 depending on where you're ordering from. But to me overall, I think it's worth it. So so enough, now that that's all out of the way, let's talk about this magazine. So as I said earlier, this is such a great magazine for a Godzilla fan. I did not grow up with these magazines, you know, the famous monsters of movie land. And, you know, I'm not interested in going back and trying to find all these magazines for a Godzilla article. And what they did perfectly here is every article based on Godzilla or Toho Kaiju is in this one place. And to me, it's perfect. You know, I love reading about Godzilla I and I find it interesting interesting to go back and look at old articles about Godzilla and the kaiju genre in general. We don't have a lot of printed material on this, so getting something like this book is great. You know, I love the interviews that they have, and there's multiple interviews with all different people from the Godzilla series, whether it's directors, suit actors, or even artists. So, you know, it covers its bases wonderfully. And along with looking back at all the old articles, they do give us one new one, and that is with the director of the new Godzilla film coming out. Out. So there is a little something new here, but for the most part, these are all past articles. And looking back at these, they're pretty great to read. You know, it, it's funny seeing a world before internet and not all the information is true. And I guess now that we live in this world where we can access information 24-7 and we all kind of can talk about Godzilla and everyone has, you know, books on them and there's Wikipedias on the kaiju, it, it's fun to look back at a time when this didn't exist. And to me, one of the things that stands out is when I was reading the King Kong versus Godzilla article and they talked about the two different endings. Now as fans we all know that's not true but back then that was the thought and it's kind of funny to see that in print and I know it's in multiple places too and especially in earlier books but it's just funny to kind of look at that. Another thing that I find interesting is the advertisements that they put into this magazine like the classic Aurora toy advertisements you know you don't see that anymore that's something that doesn't happen I don't even know if they do you know uh, the Christmas toy collection books anymore, you know, that you could kind of choose what you wanted to get around Christmas time. I don't think they do that anymore. And so, like, all this is all really interesting. And the book covers primarily the show up period because that's when this magazine was in its heyday. I mean, it does touch on some Heisei films and some Millennium films, but for the most part, the bulk of this is the show up. And to me, that's great because the show up period is my favorite. It does also touch on some of the newer films like Shin Godzilla and Godzilla 2000. 2014. But overall, you know, this is definitely a really strong package of Showa material. Now, I have heard complaints about the fact that these are all old articles. You know, I I'm not really understanding that complaint. These are the archives, you know, so naturally they're going back and taking out all their old articles and putting them into one place. So I'm really not sure what people were expecting. You know, I, I feel like this is what they were tending to do, so I'm not sure why people are complaining. To me, this works out perfectly. If you're just interested, like I said, in Godzilla and other Toho Kaiju, this is the magazine to pick up, especially if you want to look back at the history of Godzilla in magazine form. All right, everybody, let me know in the comments below, did you pick this magazine up and have you been enjoying it? Or maybe you were collecting these magazines when they were coming out. Love to hear from you guys. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you all later.